Welcome to episode 80. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. We are doing something a little bit different today. So here's what here's what's going on. Tub comes to the house and we get prepared. We have a little bit of conversation beforehand and then we sit down and we do the normal show. And we have been doing Libertarians on 25 Issues. And we're walking through this book, uh, not through the book, but through this series of issues in this book, Introduction to the Libertarian Party by Wes Benedict. And he has 25 issues in which he just offers one or two sentences, you know, very quick, uh, a brief summary Mm -hmm. of the libertarian position on these particular issues. And so then Tub and I have been going and taking each one of them and making a whole episode out of it and just having a conversation. Beautifully and masterfully. It's it's, it's amazing. Let's let's not not overlook. Descriptions matter. Right. right. They do. <laughs> okay. They do. Descriptions matter. And so what and, and the idea behind it is twofold. One, if you're not a libertarian, then you listen to it and you go, oh, wow, that's why those crazy libertarians believe that. So then you kind of get a better understanding. And if you are a libertarian, then hopefully it gives you an idea how to communicate the message of liberty to your non-libertarian friends in a way that maybe hopefully uh, th- that they'll understand a little bit better. So we try to get away from some of the jargon and all the other right, stuff. Right. That, you know, that we have a tendency to get involved in. However, today when we started having a conversation, the conversation went to a very interesting direction. And we said, you know what? Why don't we make this the episode? So we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this. So what do you want to lead us in with, Tom? Okay. So what we started talking about was the party as a whole. Libertarian right. party. Whole. 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 Whole as a whole, and we were talking about how we have this tendency to put guidelines in that we don't know how to judge the guidelines. Mm-hmm. We don't know how to determine who's in and who's not in. Right, and we spend more. Who's a real libertarian? Who's not? Not. And then our conversation shifted into weaker, strong libertarian. We right. figure out who defines that stuff along those lines. And so I've been kind of in this direction of now. I remember when I first came and saw you, the very first time I sat down in your living room, I was like, hey, listen, I'm thinking about running for office. Right. You remember that conversation? Yep. It was here for way too long, probably. I mean, he like, like it was a while. state is welcome by like yeah, three like, times. Right. And, and so we, we had the conversation and, and I kind of mapped, I said, here's what I want to do. I said, I've been in the party for 15 years. You know, I kind of get the idea of libertarians. And I remember you telling me, I remember you said straight up, we talked about this real quick downstairs. Uh, I remember you saying, hey, uh, I said, I don't get involved in the politics of the party. And you said, you're better off. Right. And, I, and I'm like, you know, whatever. And, and now going through this process, I started getting more involved, being around you more naturally, draws you mm-hmm. into what's going on. And I started realizing that we have problems. Mm-hmm. We have problems inside the party. And I think there's self-inflicted problems. Yes. And um, remember this past, this year, it was, that was still this year, when we had our convention down in, down here in Florida. Right. And I spoke. Well, we all spoke. Like, I always tell everybody, like, oh, you spoke at the, uh, the convention. I was like, it's not that big a deal. Every candidate spoke. It's nothing. Like, I, cause they, when they first hear, they're like, dude, you spoke. Trust me, not that impressive. You, you got to let that, you got to ride that one. I mean, you got, oh, for real? I spoke at a state convention. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and, but then anybody who's ready you need go, to sit yes. down and listen. Yes, we did. So, but if you remember, um, I went um, kind of contrary to the usual speakings of candidates. Mm-hmm. And I kind of just said, hey, guys, here's our problem with the party. From what I see, we don't get together very well. And, and so I kind of mapped that out a little bit, a little bit of how we need to get together because we're not doing a very good job. And I even pointed out, which is, I guess, scary to do in front of that group. Um, I, I mentioned about how we have the best message, mm-hmm. but sometimes we have the worst messengers. Right. And, and so I kind of mapped that out and I kind of laid it out a little bit and I it went over, I guess, okay, because I was told after mm-hmm. that if they didn't like it, they would have thrown stuff at me and booed me off the stage. And I'm like, for real? Like, oh yeah, they really would have done that. Yeah, I wish somebody would have told you that ahead of time. You didn't. You Listen, you may, I told you what I was talking about covering and you never once said that, listen, dude, they're going to throw stuff at you. Why are you blaming it on me? Well, I'm just saying that you It's your job to know your audience. Yeah, well, I threw it out there. I went out there and it seemed to go okay. It it wasn't nobody, nobody, you know, shanking me down or anything after this. It wasn't prison life after this. Right. So so what we're doing is we realize that that hasn't changed, obviously. Mm -hmm. And the more I learn, the more I go, like, why are we not coming together? So my point inside of that is we we might not like the big two, obviously. Right. Okay. So we don't like the big two, but there's something that the big two do well. They come together. Mm-hmm. They come together, and even though we believe it's that they come together with some whacked out beliefs, <laughs> right? But they at least they they understand that hey, we are a party. This is what we're supposed to do, and this is how we have to come together to be effective in what we're doing. Right. And so libertarians are not doing that. 
we're not becoming effective because we don't come together right. over some things. So we started talking downstairs and we said about how it would be nice if we had these few things that we go, this is who we are. This right. is what we focus on. This is what's important to us. Right. We can have all of these other things that we can discuss and kind of, but I don't think we have to focus on all of them because like what I said, we are a political party. OK. And the only way a political party is effective is to hold office. Right. So we have to be kind of more focused on holding office. Like right. that, that has to be our premise. Our premise can't be we do a thousand podcasts and we all sit around really? and we talk about. Yes. So you're going to dog the podcast, podcast <laughs> while you're on a podcast. <laughs> all right. So we, we still need this one. I want to get my message out on the podcast that shouldn't exist. <laughs> yes. On the, on the... <laughs> get rid of let's not do this but here's what we do libertarians are, are, are notorious for sitting in circles and talking about this or this or hate this or hate that and, and right. but we don't ever get out there's a term for that do you know it you're about to tell me it aren't you no i'm not because it's not appropriate oh okay all right so let's not do it then um you're gonna text it to me later <laughs> I, i'll just tell you later <laughs> oh, okay while right. we're not on film so so we so other people probably know what you're about to say oh they do okay all right so people i do. don't and so we'll leave it there for a minute and, and so we, we'd rather just sit around and complain and what did i say even when down at the convention i was as guilty of that as anybody right. else right and i realized it's time to do something right so we started talking about it and just now in your kitchen yep and and we we're talking and then finally here's what i said Remember the mm -hmm. reference that I used mm -hmm. was the idea of this. I said, okay, hang on then. I said, so just a couple weeks ago, the Libertarian Party celebrated its 50th anniversary as a party. Right. Okay. And I said, well, okay. I said, look at it this way. If you have a 50-year-old man, mm -hmm. okay, and that 50-year-old man is going from, what I mentioned, like if he's going from house to house, right. sleeping on people's couches, he's right. just kind of getting by. Couch you know, Yeah. And he like does a job for a couple of weeks, quits it and goes to another one. At some point, you would look at that guy and go, dude, you're 50. It is time to get your act together. Like right. you should be past this by now. It's cool when you're in your 20s. And you're like, this is all so right. great. And you want to run around. But you start growing up. You start maturing. And by the time you're 50, you should have had things established. You should be able to function. Right. And I said, okay, right now, the Libertarian Party is a 50-year-old man. Right. How well are we functioning? How well? I almost feel like they're in a lot of ways. We're going from couch to couch to couch. We're right. not holding down a good job. but and, and, and that maybe perhaps that's why we're struggling. Right. Because we're not together in what we have to right. do. Which is fine if that is your intended goal. Mm -hmm. If you intend to live life as... You know, all the way through it and say, look, I'm never going to own a house. I'm never going to own a car. I'm not going to get married. I'm going to do whatever jobs come available right. and I'm going to couch surf. And that's what, you know, on who, whoever allows it. Yep. Uh, you know, I'm going to live in hostels, basically. Mm -hmm. Right. Then, yeah, that's fine. Yep. If that is your intended goal. But that is not the intended goal of the Libertarian Party. Right. We have a very specific goal. And it first... You know, and, and, and part of this, to back this up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Because I know um, I jumped out there quickly. No, and no, just it's kind good. Of, okay. To, to give people a little bit of backstory, I was talking, I, when, when Tub comes over, I talk about some of the latest Liberty Twitter drama, mm -hmm. right? It goes on. And we're not going to get into all the details. Yeah, I'm about, about to stay away right, from that. The only way I know right. about Twitter drama is what you tell me. Right. And so I was talking to him and I said, you know, I saw something where a Libertarian posted something and they had posted like, you know, I support, you know, I'm a limited, I'm a small government Libertarian. And I support these things. And they listed a whole bunch of like domestic policies. And a lot of people are dragging that person. They're like, oh, you're not a real libertarian in, in some and there way. There it or is. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I come out and I, and, and, and this has been my position for a long time that we need to stop focusing on the label of libertarian. Okay. And that what we need to do is we need to start just talk about particular issues and say, all right, does this issue really, you know, does it really fall within a proper libertarian context? And I said, the t I said, you know, I, and, and these are poor Are terms. you going to say what you said? Are I you, am, gonna, are you going, going to use I'm the terms it. that you use? I'm going to use it so right, people have the background. Use the terms that you use. So I said there are weak, um, there are weak libertarians, and there are, um, uh, there are uh, strong strong libertarians, and I basically meant like maturity level. Like when you first become a libertarian, you are likely not the same kind of libertarian as you are 20 years later, right? because. Right. Like you yeah. normally, nor, like typically in almost every case, you have grown some. You've learned something that you didn't know from the very beginning. And, right. And, and am I allowed to? And you, and, you and tell me when I Tub, can speak. Okay? Tub took me to task over that. And he was like, so what does it mean to be a. Look, I said, I said, I said you put it out there. I said, you right. just put the, the right. standard out there. I said, you said between weak and strong. I said, yep. what's weak and strong? So I got on my bicycle and I backpedaled. <laughs> 
And I said, all right, look, that's not really what I'm going for. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to create more terms, more definitive terms, which was, it was good that he pointed it out, right? It was a very good conversation. And I realized that the terms that I chose to use came with some connotation, mm -hmm. very specific connotation. Basically, if you're going to be strong, then you've got to have something that you don't have when you're weak. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and, and those are kind of definitive things and people want to know. And what I was really trying to get at, ultimately, the long story short, all I wanted to get is say, look, let's get away from talking about labels and, and who is and isn't. And let's talk about ideas internally, mostly. Right. You know, I, 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 I object to the idea of ever calling somebody not a libertarian. I think I've done it once. When people were like, well, Trump's a libertarian. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but he, Trump has never identified as a libertarian. That's, just, that's the thing. He never identified as one. He has never expressed any 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 commonly understood libertarian ideas. Right. Um, he may have every once in a while said something that sounded fairly libertarian. Maybe. Right. But in and, and, and those were infrequent but that, moments. But you know what? That was funny. Is that, that actually was part of our conversation of right. words and actions. Right. Right. And we want to sit around and right. go about words and we're yep. like, hey, what about what are your actions? And and the problem that I see with this whole you're not a real libertarian is I and I express this, mm -hmm. you know, in one of our previous episodes, Tubbs said that he's a uh, a closed border guy. I am. Uh -huh. And a lot of libertarians will say, Well, if you're a closed border, you can't be a real libertarian. Then I'm not a libertarian. Because right. Lord knows if you don't hold on. So here we go. So Lord knows if you don't agree with what we're saying, then right. you can't be one. Isn't that exactly what we complain about with the two major parties? Right. You have to fall in line with our thinking, or you're not one of us. Right. Joe Manchin, we talked about, we'll get into that right. again. That they, they, they became this area. If you don't agree with us, everything, you're out. Right. And, and we talk about that's horrible yeah. thinking. Yeah. And yet we and, do. And it. it's and, and I think it's part of the reason why we are fifty years old. And sleeping on couches. Couch I'm going to use that term from now. I'm I know, right? That that right now, the libertarian party is sleeping on couches. Right. We, okay. and, we're, and that's how we're going to refer to libertarians. We're like, are you a couch? Are you are you sleeping on a couch? Or are you owning the house that someone's right. sleeping in? And, <laughs> you know. Right. And and so the problem that I pointed out, I said, look, in this whole like closed border, open border, you know, debate, people might rule and say, hey, you know what, Tubbs not a real libertarian because he's not open borders, and you have to be open borders. And then I said, but there's nuance there because. Remember, well, I said Pastor even Cubs, given the considering the situation that we're in right now, the it's reason never work. that he's closed borders because he believes that there are certain cir circumstances mm -hmm. that prevent an open border from working. So what that means is he would actually be open I could borders. Be. No, don't say don't, don't look okay. me. Well, I don't, you, want, you I don't want to make it definitive be. because it you got to look at that situation at the time. You know when it comes around, he could be but, open borders. Yes, but for the change. current circumstances, yes. right? And I think that nuance is very important because. That what that really means is you could you could literally just boil that down and say he's a libertarian at heart and in practice he's a whatever, right? And Whoa, so, wait and so, a minute! But hold you, on, look what you wait, just did to on, me right there. Hold on, hold on, give this a try. I'm not. <laughs> and so you 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 could make that argument. Now I'm not making that. I'm saying you could make that argument. But at what point do we want to say that what somebody believes is is not nearly as important, right? Especially if circumstances would put that into practice. Like it needs an explanation. Like it, right. it's, it, it's like there's an asterisk next right. to this statement. So we, we, we got to put these things into practice at some point if somebody believes something and he's already defined, okay, here's a direction under which I would possibly be more go open to it. Yes. be more open to yep. open borders, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm like, that nuance is important. And because you have all these variations all over the map with different issues, I don't think it's just cut and dried to say you're not a libertarian, you are a libertarian. So I really try to avoid that. So in the context of what this, what drove this conversation, uh -huh. my response to this person... Oh, not, he, not this person. Right, not person, this person. You're back to right. Twitter again. Here. Right, right. Back okay, to Twitter. Like, wait a minute. That, this Sorry. person? Like, I'm right. tough. I'm right here. I was just downstairs. Like, okay, right. this person over here. So, you talk about the Twitter person. Right, Okay. Right. So his, his pronouns are this and that. <laughs> that, that no, no, this no. Where we are not getting pronouns. My pronouns are where they belong. If you pee standing up, you are he. Oh, Lord, that is on film. I, I, listen, Woo. once again, okay, but hang on. Remember a couple weeks ago we brought this up, and I said inside the thing, I said, I, I don't play that game. Right. I, I don't play no, the pronouns good. game. This is where I'm at, right. and I believe I should be allowed to. And and, and I we had the conversation. Right. Like, right. As libertarians, we believe that people should have the right to express themselves and yes. believe there's things. Yes. So I should not be shot down. Oh, no. Because, no. 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 
We don't. Right. But I'm sure there are some right. who go, but you don't understand. Okay, but I, th the freedom that I have in libertarianism is that I don't have to adhere to your thinking. Right. That's what makes me a libertarian. Right. And so, in turn, if I don't agree with your thinking, right. I should be able to fall back from it. And you should right. be able to go, that's cool. Yep. He's allowed to. Yep. It's it's the philosophy of non-interference. Non yep. And so... Um, so what I said to this person on Twitter, oh, yeah, back in to, response, sorry, I, I'll sorry, yep, this person on Twitter, Twitter person. who said, I am a small government libertarian. I believe in all these social policies. And then, uh, they, then they got dragged. And then I came back and I said, okay, if we take, uh, if, if we take and limit the scope to just those issues, mm -hmm. government is larger. Government is neither uh, small nor efficient in those areas. And that's all I said. And I think it's all that we need to say. I don't think we need to go and say, well, you're not a real libertarian. No, just challenge the idea that somebody expresses. Simply as that. But when do you... Right? Have, when do you because have, that can when make us more... But when do you have to challenge the idea? It's just when they don't agree with you? Well, so... Like, see, our problem is that we don't have this central core of beliefs. And we go, here's what we camp out at. I, I, I think what... I don't think it's the, the core beliefs. We don't always agree when to put those beliefs into particular practice. Mm -hmm. Should we be open borders or should we be closed borders? Well, if you're, open, if you're closed borders, you might be open borders, except for the fact that we have this huge uh, welfare, welfare system. system, right? Mm -hmm. And so many people would actually identify and say, I am an open borders person, but I don't want to pay fact, for everybody. Except for the fact of the, the welfare system, uh -huh. right? And so this is why I think that we need to start challenging ideas because it allows us to be more cohesive because one, we're not fighting for who gets to be in the club. Which is ultimately what the whole real, not real libertarian ends up being. Fighting who gets to be in the club. When you're fighting who gets to be in the club, you become the 50-year-old man who couch surfs. That's what happens. Because we're not having a conversation and going, it's, it's, it's a much different conversation to say, oh, you're a, closed, you're, you're a closed border, you're not a real libertarian. Or to say, how come you're... You know that doesn't seem to that doesn't seem to be with the understanding of libertarianism. I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, I would actually be. I might actually be uh, uh, yeah, open I, I, to open I'm borders, open, but except just, for the, yeah. the this this other thing. But there'd be a and number then, of things that we would number of topics right. we could say we're not ready for it now. Right. And so then I might go, oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I got you. So you're actually more like me than I realize, right? And this is the problem that we have in the party. We're not we're we're, we're not focusing on the things where we can identify and say. Okay. Here's where we actually are alike, and we don't even realize like, it. Like I, I think that we have to, we have to come to the point is what you said before is that we have to figure out what are we here for, right? And like you said, if I see us as a political party, not a social club, right? A social club, we can sit around, we talk about things, we go about our business, and we're right. done. Okay, right. we can play bingo every now and then, and that's what yep. we'll do. But we are a political party, right? And a, a political party looks to make changes in government, correct? Okay, well, the only way we can make changes in government, like it or not, is to be involved, correct? So we have to start getting into office. Well, here's the thing. We can be the 50-year-old guy who's sleeping on couches mm -hmm. because we can't get our act together. Right. And I think it's time for libertarians to get their act together because what right. do we talk about? Almost, you know what's funny? Almost every week, even if we don't mention it here, we mention about, okay, I'm running for office. Right. Okay, there's only, what is there, just under 3,000 or so registered libertarians here in town? Uh, like 2,700. Okay. So let me tell you something. Um 2,700, and, and we know there's plenty others that they'll go by no party or they're right. just, all right, you know what, like um, they'll hold their old party affiliate. Right. Like if they're a Republican, they stay there and they just vote libertarian type right. of thing. So we know there's more. Right. But if we just look at the 2,700 that are, okay, I win zero elections right. based on 2,700 Right, because there's like 900,000 people in yes. Jacksonville. There, there are 600, I, the last number is like 638,000 registered voters. Right. Okay, so 2,700, dude, why even go? Right. So we have to come to this point where we have to be able to reach the other parties. The only way libertarians are going to be effective in gaining office is they're going to pull people from other parties. That's the reality of it. Right. Okay. Now, I I don't want, and this is going to sound horrible the way I say it, I mentioned downstairs that I'm guilty of it too. I don't want a weakened libertarian party just so we can say we right. have numbers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you can draw on a bunch of people, but if they're if you're allowing them all to come in and just be Democrats inside the libertarian party, or Republicans inside, you didn't really, right. you, you know, you, you just made another place for Republicans and Democrats to hang out in. Right. That's not what we're about. Right. Uh, but I think that when we start kind of getting our ideas together and we relay these to other people, they tend to go, oh, I agree with that also. Right. Now, I will tell you, like I mentioned before, was that, okay, so when I meet, and I'll oh, just be honest, I, I always like, it's just easier to be honest and go back later. Right. Okay. So it, it's honestly, when you meet with Republicans mm -hmm. and you have a disagreement on something, we, we tend to have a disagreement, we talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
unfortunately, you meet with Democrats and they tend not to want to do that. They're, they're shut down. So here's what I found, that when I meet with a certain group of people, usually some very liberal Democrats, right. um, let's find what we have in common. Mm-hmm. Because like it or not, libertarians have things in common with these other parties. There right. are things that we go, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Right. Okay. So I can, so what I do, depending on who I'm talking to now, I, Bear in mind, I don't change my thinking. I don't change what I believe. It's just how do I present it right. to who I'm with. For example, here we go. So a few years back, I actually repaired vending machines. That's what I did. Okay. okay. So in, inside repairing vending machines, I remember I would go over to a place here in town over on the west side. It's a garage. These guys are fixing our trucks and doing all kinds of stuff. And I would go into their break room, fix their machine. And when I was talking to them, I was like, hey, you and talk a certain way. You talk the F-bomb on them and stuff like that. And you joke with them. Oh, okay. And then I would leave there and I would go to an office building downtown. And these have a bunch of ladies sitting in there in their little break room and we could have the same problem from that location to the other location, but I'm going to describe it differently to them. I'm right. like, hey, I don't drop the f bombs on the ladies sitting in their little break room. Okay, right. so but it's the same premise. Hey, you know, you guys are putting bad bills in here. It's jamming up. This is why it's not working. So you can keep the message, but just know who you're talking to. Right. Okay. So I think that we have to learn that we don't say, I have my message. Right. Who am I trying to reach? Don't change the message. I don't think that we as libertarians have to change our message right. in order to get other people on. We just have to know who we're talking to. I think people confuse changing your delivery with changing the message. Here's the problem. And I'm like, no. They're like most people would understand, like you said, you're gonna say you you're gonna say talk to your grandma one way mm-hmm. and you're gonna talk to your buddy, your friend, another way. Let me just tell you, right? I love Jesus. I talk to all the same. I don't know how you are, you heathen. Okay. And maybe you cuss at other people and you let things fly. I don't do that anymore. Though. Right. Okay. I just want to let. I just want to make it very clear. Gotcha. All right. I don't have different standards like you. You horrible person. Okay. <laughs> All right. So okay. that's fine. I mean, you know, whatever. So now that I'm turned off fully from Christianity, and it'll be all your fault. <laughs> And when I stand before God and I give account, I'm be like, "Well, remember that you, tub you remember guy? Tub? Remember what Tub said? Just, hey, and you sent him. So yeah, he, I'm like, he's technically, your guy. It's, technically, it's your fault. It's a, uh, so you I, have I to let that... me. In. I'm going to libertarian my way into heaven by arguing and using super, superior logic, like libertarians. Do let me see if I got right. So you're going to you're going to use more superior logic than God Himself. Probably. We, this is probably a conversation we should we'll have later. Offline. Yes. All right. So yeah. go ahead. Anyway. So so. You said that we talk to people differently depending on who we are. Right, right. Uh-huh. So we, we we do change how we talk to them, but it doesn't have to be what we say. Right. Like you can literally say the same thing. And I've told people this in the past. As an, it, it's, an, it's an extreme way of saying it, but it kind of illustrates the point. You can tell someone to their face that they're a total moron and they'll agree with you if you only use the right words. And I don't mean obscuring it like in words they don't know and they just get embarrassed and they want to stop. Right. Right, right, right. I mean, like you could literally tell them that they're an absolute idiot and they'll like, yeah, you're right. The, the, if you say that's the bless your heart. Right. right. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and that's what we need to be. And it's, you know, I don't want to get all spiritual on you because, you know, oh, you no, think, no, give you a try. See if I have, can handle it. See if I can handle it. You'll think you're having, you're having oh. an impact. Here. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, we don't want to have an impact. You don't want to be influential in what you believe in. Yeah. So, that'd be horrible. But, you know, when I'm with the uh, Gentiles, I speak as a Gentile. When I'm with the Jews, I uh-huh. speak as the Jews. That's what Paul said in the New Testament, right? He basically, and, and I don't think what he meant was you go and you water down the message. No. I think what he meant was like, you listen, you pay attention. Now, that doesn't mean to go and use terms and phrases and accents that don't belong to you. And right. I, when I say don't belong to you, I mean like that aren't native to you, that aren't yep. natural, right? So don't go and, you know, don't go to the black neighborhoods and think that you're going to talk black whatever that means like you know don't don't go in there and be right. like oh i'm gonna use words that i think i'm use this slang are... and watch now they're gonna accept me more right. no no, no, no. Go, don't fool. do that like right like, like talk how who you are yep but just know your audience and say okay what do they care about you know who is the whoever this audience is what do they care about um what kind of things are they are, are they concerned about like the words you know you might go to an audience and it might be a religious audience who doesn't like profanity so right. maybe bite your tongue on on the f-bombs not you, but you know, maybe yeah. others. Yeah. And then, but maybe then you're talking with some people, uh, that, uh, that, that are using the F bombs and mm-hmm. all that. And so you might, you, you might drop them if it's natural to you again, only like, if it's see, natural. like, yeah, like, like, like I don't, don't, don't do it to be but, doing but it. But bear in mind also when I go into these places, I don't expect them to right. act like me. I, Correct. Like, so if I go into a place and I'm not going to drop F-bomb. no matter where I'm going, I'm not dropping right. F bombs on you, but the people around me might, right. and that's fine for them, but right. that's fine. I don't have to give into that. See that right there. 
is libertarianism. To right. me, okay, listen, this is who I am. Right. But I, when I get around you, I don't expect you to change to me. I think you have very, very much. You have every right to drop f bombs. Right. That's that, that's fine. Right. And I think that that right there is libertarian in a nutshell. Right. I have this belief, but you have the one that's different. That's fine. Right. Like, the, and right. I think that that's... And there's no imposition there. No. Like, like, yeah, maybe my sensitive ears don't like to hear it, but I mean, yeah. Listen, you know, I, I, I've been around people. Here. You, you know what's funny is along those lines, like usually if I go anywhere and I'm talking to somebody or whatever, I don't throw out to them at the beginning that I'm a pastor. Right. Because once they find out I'm a pastor, they start kind of, oh, well, you know, no, right. I want to know, like, I want to talk to you where you are and how you are. And right. if you just talk to people, you drop F-bombs, keep doing it. Right. I, that, that's your world. That's what you do. I don't, right. I don't like walk into their world and go, oh my goodness, what are you doing, you horrible people? No, no, no. Right. That's their world and they right. have what they're going on. So right. I, I think that what we have to understand is that yes, we can go into these areas. We can reach them where they are. Right. Tell them our ideas. We say it differently. Right. Not straying from our beliefs. I don't become less of a libertarian. I'm right. not not a libertarian anymore because all of a sudden now I'm saying, hey, with this group here, I'm going to find what we have in common. Right. With this group here, we're going to have to debate a little bit because this group here, I can debate better right. than over here. So right. over here, I have to be able to reach this message about. Here's the thing. As a political party, for us to have influence, we have to get those right. people. Right. Okay. So now we start to figure out how are we going to do that? Here's the problem. We never get to that point because we have to spend all of our time explaining libertarianism. Right. I can't tell you, we're 50 years in, the third largest party in the United States, and I still have to explain our core beliefs to people. That's a right. shame. Right. There's no reason we should be 50 years in still having to explain the basics. You know why? Because right. we can't get our basics right. right. We can't get our act together and go, right. here's what we're standing on. That no matter where we go, if you run into a libertarian here, they're going to believe these things regardless. Right. We're going to stand on these things. We'll have those. Right. We'll debate these yep. other things later. And, and when people get it wrong, mm -hmm. they should be close. Yes. Because... Like I, I used to, uh, I used to be involved in the church, and sometimes people would have percep perceptions about me based on what they thought they understood about religious people. Okay. Yeah. Like for instance, and and, and this was one that varies uh, from church to church, and even some religions. Uh, I would go out with coworkers, and they knew that I was a church going guy, and they mm -hmm. would say, "Oh, I guess you don't drink." I'm like, "No, I do." Yeah. I, I have a beer. I, ju I just don't get hammered. Exactly. Right. Yep. And they're like, "Oh, oh, okay." You know, and, and and so they were close, though. Yeah. Right. Like they they understood that there were some things that I would that I limited personally for yep. me. Um, they just got it in this particular instance a little bit wrong, but they were close. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of times when I talk to people and they're like, they, they, and and I have it. I treat not people that I I think are non libertarians the same as I do libertarians most of the time, right? And what I mean by that is when I'm talking to people and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm kind of libertarian. And they'll say something. And in my mind, I go, that's not really a libertarian idea. OK, that's not one either. OK, like literally in five minutes, you have said nothing that is libertarian whatsoever. I, right. Like in my mind, I've said that. Uh -huh. But I never, ever say, no, nah, you're not. You're not really libertarian. I don't say that. I just talk about the idea. I'm like, OK, so, so what about this? Why this? And I and I and I and I, and I question and talk about it. With the intention of getting them to recognize where they are making yeah, what I maybe, think is their mistake. Because yeah, if nothing else, then they'll go. Wait a minute. Oh, that's what libertarians believe. Okay, yeah, I'm, right. I'm not one of those. And and at that right. point right there, you're not even trying to say, well, yeah, you are. No, you're not. You, you kind of let them go. Right. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, because never mind. Here's what happens. If I tell you you're not a libertarian, you are going to do the same thing that everybody does. You're going to try to defend yourself. Yep. And you're going to find all these reasons that make you a libertarian. You're going to argue with me about my definitions. And we're never going to get to the point where. Oh, let's you, let's say I'm right. You. We're not going to get to the point where you go. You know what, Dale? You're right. I'm not a libertarian, but I would like to be one. That's the point that I okay. want to get people so to. So what you're saying, though, is what you take mm -hmm. that same thing except for being one or not being one, but take the same premise and put it into talking to other libertarians. We're spending all of our time trying to go, oh, who do you on this one? Who do you on that one? Right. Shut up. Right. Those are things that are secondary in our beliefs. Right. Okay? I think that we have a certain level of beliefs. This is where we camp out at. It's what we do inside the church. There right. are certain things that we believe. Like, right. I, I don't care what church you go to. I don't care what denomination you're in. Right. Okay. You got these things. All right. I, I have some pastor friends that we have very different beliefs on lost salvation, baptism, stuff along those lines. I know what all those terms are. Yeah, you do. I know, but my audience oh, let's go. Okay. Exactly. Once again, it's the language thing that we right. use inside of these circles. So anyway, so we have these conversations. Now, we disagree on them. Mm -hmm. But you know what they are? They're still good brothers in Christ. Right. We can still get along because you know why? We have the important things in place. Right. So I think that libertarians have to kind of get that thinking. What is important? What do we focus on? Right. How do we get this message out? How do we get the, what's millions of us really, 
Okay, how do you get us thinking instead of wandering off in these things that ultimately so few people in communities, society, mm -hmm. so many things that we debate and argue and fuss about, they don't even care. Right. They don't care a lick about that right. stuff. And we're trying to jog around right on this. And, then, right. and you're, you're trying to get them to understand where we're coming from. And we're off on obscure things that might not ever come. We have great right. ideas, but they might not ever come into existence. Right. And we're trying to. You know, you gotta be right. like this right now. Right. Not, we're not even like this right yeah. now. So what are you talking about? We gotta hurry up and get there. Mm. So when do we come to this point as libertarians to say, here we are. Right. Here's our stand. Here's what we believe in. Let's spread this out. Right. Let's get this message out. Let's get on board and we'll have conversations. Right. Today. Well, I think as a I think if we're talking about like what constitutes a libertarian, I think that is a road that's just gonna take you absolutely nowhere. Now, since we're talking about a political party, though, which has a very specific purpose, which is to impact the law, I think the thing that I think the the things that we focus on are the 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 ideas that are, are the issues that get us the biggest impact in the world toward freedom. Okay. So, for instance, and I know some people, if they're watching, they might. Oh, they get are upset watching. Let's make it very clear. Some people, oh, they are watching. Up, some people might get upset about this. Okay. Right? Oh, good. If we, well, I'd be one of those if people. you said no, oh. if if somebody said DL, should we focus more on? Drug legalization or sex work legalization? Which one's more important for the party to focus on? I'm going to say drugs. Yep. And the reason, because I feel like it impacts, and I don't feel, I mean, I think there's strong evidence it's, for it, that it impacts a lot more people. Far more people. Yep. Far more people in terms of freedom. Now, that doesn't make sex work not important. Um, but then also, I think that there's an argument to be made that once we get past the hurdle of drug legalization, once we decriminalize um, uh, drugs, and I, and I know there's a distinction between legalization and decriminalization. Right. Yep. I'm using them a little bit interchangeably. Yeah, right. Bear with me, you bunch of nerds. We don't, we don't, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but once we get past the decriminalization of it, once we stop you know, the, the SWAT teams breaking down the doors and taking children for a joint, mm -hmm. you know, for, for silly nonsense— um, I think that society would actually be more open to having a conversation about decriminalizing sex work. I don't believe there's evidence that it will work in the reverse. Not in the reverse, no. Because the other one's too extreme right. for anybody to go, okay, I'm behind this. Right. And, and the thing is, once again, I, I think that like the border thing, yeah, I'm open to this, mm -hmm. but I, I, I want to see some type of guidelines. And right. like, because what, what, what were we talking about before is that there are social norms right. and, and a society that functions in a certain way. And, and we, we were talking about how we would like to see, yes, these things can happen, mm -hmm. but on a small scale, I don't think they become the mainstream things. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't think sex work has become the mainstream. Right. I don't think that's what we're all aspiring right. towards. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we look at it and go, hey, everybody should be right. in sex work. No, right. that's a really bad idea. Right. That's the downfall of society. Is what sure, it is. sure. Okay. So I believe that we can have these type of things. So we go, hey, you know what? If they want to go do it, that's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the libertarian in us. Right. We're not trying to stifle two adults making consensual decisions. Go do what you want to go do. Right. But I think that you look at drugs, and if you look at it, in fact, that was part of supposed to be our, that was supposed to be our conversation for today was I'm drugs. drugs, right? And and, and it's kind of I had my weed it's, already. It's, exactly, the bong I, was ready. I, I we do not, good. obviously. And but here's the thing: is you, get you at a contact. Do you buzz. realize? <laughs> do you realize that I don't have any weed? Just kidding. They're, they're referring ATF. to marijuana. Usually, marijuana is the main one they're referring mm -hmm. to, and they're kind of like, hey, if we just legalize this now, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care. I, I legalize it, right? I don't care. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You can make it legal. Guess what? I'm still not going to do it. Right. I've never smoked weed in my life. Never. Never. That's why you're so uptight. That's why. I, good Lord. Um, no, it's from sitting here with you inside this room that makes me so uptight. So inside of this is that. So I don't think that it's making it room. legal. It, it, I, don't, I don't think making it legal is going to change the people who choose to do it. Right. Okay. So have at it. I, I don't care. But see, here's what we're getting at. You're right. Let's bring that up first. Let's make that the conversation. Let's talk about these. But. Even as we talk about, it, is that one of our five topics? Is right. that one of the five things that we go, hey, right. this is what we all believe in? And I think we might. That might, you know, the legalization of marijuana. We'll start with that. Right. That's probably something that most libertarians are kind of go, yeah. Right. I think we're on board with this one. Right. You know, what I'm saying because a lot of the countries are already falling on board with because it. Because in all it, honesty, it's, it's a huge issue already. Mm -hmm. It'd be not, you know, more than just the idea. And I don't want to talk. I take all our steam away from our drug episode. But it's a huge issue because it impacts in so many different areas. Like people have had their children removed from their homes. Yep. Over small. I mean, we're not talking about like big bad drug dealers, right. you know, that are like shooting up the gang members across the street. Like these aren't the people who are taking children's home from from homes. 
we're taking them from like a parent that's got some recreational marijuana that they say smoke when the kids go to bed. Mm -hmm. Like, and and they're like, well, you're a bad parent. I'm like, okay, whatever. As we all sip our wine too much. Exactly. You know what? Okay. So here's what's kind of funny. Now I I don't hide behind this. I've I've said it often. So I've never smoked weed, but I might've sold it in the past. (laughs) Okay. Okay. And people are always kind of like, you don't smoke it. No, that's my money. That was always my thing. That's my money. I'm like, you know, one of the top 10, uh, was it 10 crack commandments? Don't get high off your own supply. Don't get high off your own. Exactly. So, but here's what's funny. You said it made me think of it. So there was this, there was this mom. And um, so I, I would buy it. She would buy it from me. I'd stop at her house real quick. And here's what she said. Uh, I'd be, she's like, oh, I'll wash dishes at the end of the day. And I kind of smoke a little bit. I'm like, hey, whatever you want to do, I don't care. And then here's what she said. She goes, you know, my son's upstairs and he wanted to buy some from me. And I was like, no. Right. Like, I, I guess I was the one with a conscience. And, and so I was like, no, I'm not selling to your son. He's like 15, 16 years old. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. You like know? She couldn't just give him her own stash? Wow, what a mom. That's exactly. What a horrible. Oh, Jesus. But, but you know what I'm saying? Is that there are some of the arguments there about, you know, what are we doing? And those would be the type of household they would go into and throw a fit over. Mm-hmm. Some mom who's sitting there smoking some weed while she's washing right. the dishes. No threat to society. Like, truly right. not a threat to society. Right. But those are the ones they tend to go after. But the point is, if that's a topic that the libertarians can go, yes, maybe... Maybe it's time for us to get intentional. When I say us, maybe it starts with us. Right. And maybe it starts with us saying, okay, it's time to get our act together. Right. Okay. Um, so we're 50 years old. You know what? I want to have a house by the time we're 52. Right. You know, as a party. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's start. Okay. We got to stop being happy laying on couches. Right. It's time for us to function. Like 50 years in. We are 50 years in. We right. should have a little better a little better organization stuff going on. Right. We should be a little more focused on here's our purpose. Right. And I don't and, think we're doing that. And 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 I'll get into a rant which we didn't talk about yet. Have I think oh. you'll I think you'll agree with this. Okay. So let me. See. I'm, I'm trying to think of how much I want to. Just like I, I, I don't want to bring a, a whole lot of drama in, but there was um, in some LNC meetings that I've listened in on. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you which ones. Okay. But Wait I. Wait a minute. Why I've not? Heard, because I don't want to drag out necessary drama. Oh, got it. Okay. All right. But I heard. Some, and I've heard this multiple times okay. in not only in the libertarian community, um, at state level, national level, but I've also heard it in other organizations as well. So what do you mean by other organizations? Like out that non-libertarian, non-political ones. Okay. Because I've been involved in tech. Uh, okay. I've been an officer on a tech board. I've been an officer on a, right. a real estate board. Um, so um, people will say, we're just volunteers. And it drives me bananas because I think there's a very – because I tell people, I'm like, you get the leaders that you deserve. And if we accept this idea that we're just a volunteer. Yep, that's horrible thinking. And I'm like, wait a minute. Let's then, think then about stop. This. Then stop being a volunteer. Let's, Get somebody in there who's willing to do it. Somebody who about has this. the fire inside of them. Yeah, let's think about this. We exist to bring freedom to the world. We literally say we want to see a world set free in our lifetime, our short span of a lifetime. Mm-hmm. We want to see a world set free. We're an organization. That's fighting a duopoly, an entire government, an intricate government webbed all over the place. We want to fight them and bring more liberty to ourselves, our kids, our friends, our neighbors. And we're going to do that by saying we're just a volunteer? No way. Nope. Absolutely not. And so I look at it and say, anybody that says that, um, they will never get my vote. I should say, if they make a comment like that and they're sitting in a position, quit. It's time to resign, yeah. and it's time to get somebody in there who says, I don't care if I'm getting paid and, for this or not. And here's our goal. Our goal should be bigger than yeah. our pockets. And if they don't quit, the, the members should, should say, oh, is that how you feel? You're done. Yep. And, and, and But here's the thing is, I think we bring light to that. We go, hey, guys, we got elections that are getting ready to come up. We're getting ready to have a conference again, a national conference. Right. And I think we start saying, hey, guys, here are people who have made this comment. Right. And I think it's time that we call them out. Yeah. I, I'm so sick of it. Libertarians are not to be the party of political correctness. Right. You did wrong. You're wrong, dude. We're going to call you out for it. Right. Okay. You did good, dude. Good on you. And we're going to defend you where you right. need defending. But when you've messed up, it's time to go. And right. so we need to see that, the, um, that this is how it's supposed to be. Right. So with that, I think it's time that we make that stand and we start saying... And we start saying that, hey, here's what we're going to do. It's time for us to kind of be like, hey, um, you're on board with this. And if you're not on board with this, you just blocked everything all up right there. You just went all up in front of that camera just then. I did. Okay. But but where's your producer at? I don't know where he is. What right. happened to him? So so here's what I'm saying is that we have to come to this point where we come together and we go, 
this is who we believe in. Right. And if you're, and if you're saying, who we believe in, yes, are you being religious on me? A little bit. And so, um, and so, what you're saying there is people have made that comment. And I didn't know about that comment. Is you're saying people have made it? We're just they've made it at the national level. Get out. I've heard it at. I, I think I've heard it at the state level. Get out. And I've heard it in other organizations. And I'm like, Get and out. I, I have always been absolutely not because, like, when I was in the real estate community, people would say, uh, when I was on a board of a real estate group, I, I heard somebody say, "Well, we're just volunteers," and I'm like. One, we were voted in by like several hundred member members. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not in total, but right. we, we got the votes of the majority of several hundred members. So several hundred members have entrusted you to yep. do something. This organization deals with a large amount of money, right? We have a large number of assets. We've got buildings. We've got, you know, there's a lot of things. Going on. I'm like, no, that is not just a volunteer. You know, like this is a serious responsibility and you need to act like it's a serious responsibility. You, now, right. go ahead. And now, so, it, so if you get to the national level and you're and you're saying, well, it's no, just hold a, on. can I stop you there for a second? Yeah. Not national level. If you're doing your oh. city level, if you're doing yeah. your county level right here, yeah. you better not. If you ever came to me and said, I'm just volunteering, dude, I got right. other things to worry about. Get out. Yeah, absolutely. There's other 100%. people who are sitting here saying, I'll, I'll take that position yep. from you. And, 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 I, and I, I constantly am reevaluating what I'm doing to make sure that I'm delivering. So, like, for instance, I'll, 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 I'll uh, and I've said this before on Twitter. But I'll say it here, and, and I did this. I came to the to, to the members at the, uh, what was it, the the, the meeting, bef one of our business meetings, one mm -hmm. of the last business, I think it was the last business meeting. For of our year. local affiliate? Yeah, for okay. our local affiliate. And I said, here is what I said I was going to accomplish this year. Yep. And I said, here are the things on that list that I did accomplish. Here are the things that I did not accomplish. And I said, yes, it was an arbitrary set of numbers because I had no, I, I had no, um, initial starting point to work mm -hmm. from. So I just basically pulled numbers out of my butt. Okay. <laughs> but then I said this. I said, you should hold me accountable anyway. Yes. And I said, if you see fit that I met the goals in, in a way that you feel is acceptable, when it comes time for me to run again, you decide. You're not, and, and, and if right? I didn't reach out, get rid right. of me. Like, and, get me you know, out. But but here, and, 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 and I didn't come and say, okay, well, you know, give me a little slack because, you know, I really didn't know what I was doing here because I didn't have any, uh, I didn't have any framework to work That's from. on you. That's your fault. Like, <laughs> no. Now, like, I gave you, I told you what I was going to do. You hold me accountable. And it doesn't make a difference if I got $0 or $100,000. Here's right. what I'm saying to you. So, so here's what happened. Okay. An example of this in my own life, because I'm always like, I always got to be willing to do mm -hmm. what I tell others to do. Yep. Okay. So I, I remember I was working, I was the, the dean of students at a local Christian school. Okay. And the church was starting to grow a little bit. I was doing both. That was my vocation. And I made zero dollars from the church. Church didn't pay me anything. Mm -hmm. I said from the very beginning, I said, I don't want to take any money out of here. Nobody's taking any money out of here. We got to grow this up. Right. First. Okay. So we came to a point where the church was growing. I was, it was just a lot. It was getting hard to do the church and work full time at the, at the school. And so I finally, we did a lot of prayer and everything. And we're like, okay, um, I'm going to leave the school. I went to the church full time mm -hmm. for zero dollars. Right. We made big life changes around our house. Things mm -hmm. changed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we made those decisions because we realized, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And never once, never once did I ever go, well, I'm not getting paid. So right. I don't really have to do, I don't have to put a good message together this week. Right. No, no, no. This is what I agreed to go into and going into it. This is the work right. that I put into it. Running for office right now. The easiest thing would have been to do, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't have the time. I don't have to do this. Right. No, shut up. If you're going to do it, you do it right. And it, zero dollars. I can pay nothing for running for office. Be in it to win it or get I out. I get out. Now, listen, I look at it realistically. I go, do I have a chance of winning? Well, of course, I have a chance. You never know what's going to happen. Right. I'm going to push and I'm going to do everything I can right. to go, this is why I'm doing it. I have a goal. Now, right. that should be across the party. I have a position. This is the goal. Mm -hmm. I don't care. It's just not about pay. This is the goal. Right. It's not about me. It's about right. how do we advance this. Right. So I've been spending a lot of time going out, not necessarily always selling tub, having to sell libertarianism first. Right. I don't mind. We got to get the word out there. Right. And I understand that for this campaign, I'm going to take a bit of a hit. There's all three of us that are running here in town. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a bit of a hit. Mm -hmm. We've, we're have we going to be the ones who have to spread the word a little bit. This is what libertarians are. Right. And we, we might not do great this time out. But you know what? The next ones... Right. When the next ones can come out and go, wait a minute, when we don't when we don't have to do all of our time telling, hey, here's what libertarians believe. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. We should be past that. 50 years in. Right. We should be past a candidate having to explain 
what our core beliefs are. Here's what's worse, because we don't have a core belief. Do you understand that a candidate here in Jacksonville versus a candidate down in Miami? Do you understand that we might not even be thinking and pressing the same message as libertarians? Right. That's a fail. Right. We should now listen. They are going to have things that reach specific to their area. Yes. Okay. We have things that reach specific to our area. They don't overlap. Right. They don't. But we have to understand we're not just representing us. I don't represent just Tub right now. I represent a libertarian party. Right. So in that, there has to be certain things that I go, this is who we are. Right. That you see me here, you go to Michigan, you got to California. The libertarians have this thinking. Right. I don't care where you are. Right. Now, as you run for office, we're having a trash problem here. Okay, I'm going to talk about those things. I'm going to right. talk about the things of town. That's fine. But we should have core beliefs that regardless of where right. you go, you know, right. if I move from Jacksonville and I move to Miami and I see libertarians there and they're running for office, I should, now I'm getting a little worked up, is I should, Angry. I should be able to know that that person who's running in Miami has the same core beliefs that I have. Right. Because that's what we're based off. Right. Of. But and, right now, we have that. And, and I'll take it a little further. Okay. We should also recognize that we're going to have some variances and it's okay. Mm-hmm. Right? So even uh, so long as we understand what those variances are and why. Right? But we discuss those in the proper places. Right. And, and it's, not, right. it's not a forum that we have to, right. hey, let's get 6,000 people to all get in our fight with and, us. And, and, no. and, then I, and I tell people, I'm like, you know, the libertarian, so libertarianism is a, uh, the, there's a libertarian party mm-hmm. and then there's the libertarian philosophy. Okay. The libertarian philosophy is how the world ought to be. Right. The libertarian party tries to drive that philosophy that, into that. yes. So we're t- you don't really have that with, like you don't say there's a democrat philosophy. There's not a republic like you have like republicans and conservative ideas, right? right? And then maybe liberal ideas or whatever for the democrats. Um but libertarianism they like we like literally use the same word and they they're I think they're more entrenched because um because of the way that we see him, we see it as such a violation of somebody's individual self. Okay. Right. So I feel like I feel like that the difference between the party and our and our core philosophy, philosophy uh-huh. is closer than that of the Republicans and the Democrats for them for each of them, right? But and so I think it's I think it's more important for us to recognize that what we do in the community, how we behave toward each other, we're basically telling the outside world. This is what a libertarian world would look like. Mm-hmm. So, so, so what we're saying, and here I have a problem with is, that because I'm like, this, this is what it's this, right this here. Convincing. All right, so we have philosophy and we have office. If we mm-hmm. want to look at it that way, the way I see that is words and actions. Mm-hmm. Philosophy, we're going to sit around, we're going to talk about these things. How about right. this? How about we move from this circle to right. this circle sometimes? How about we kind of go, hey, guys, I'm behind us, and this is what we believe in. we got this philosophy of libertarians. Here's what I'm going to do with my philosophy. I don't want to run for office, right. but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to support whoever is willing. Right. Whoever, like, I don't care where in this country they say they're running libertarian, I'm not going to find, well, they don't believe with me in this, so I'm not going to support it. That's stupid. And we right. will stay the third party forever, way down third, right. until we finally realize, you know what? Okay, I'm the thinker. I'm the thinker of the party. Right. Let me be honest with you. There are people inside the libertarian. Like I, I'm stuck on Facebook now. Right. Okay. Because I'm stuck campaign. on Twitter. Okay. So I'm stuck there, and I'm like, okay. And, and I read different things through different groups who post their things, and I go, mm-hmm. whoa, that's deep. Like I can lie to you. I look like that's pretty deep stuff. Right. And I'll kind of look. I'll read through it and be like, oh, okay, I don't have a mm-hmm. big opinion. And then other people will chime in. Yeah, but what about this? And they're arguing philosophy. Right. Like it's truly that's what it is. Like oh, what about this? And I'm thinking. I'm like that's good, but I'm over here. Right. And then over here, I'm trying to live. Right. And, and and we can have all of these things. I can know it's the same thing I say inside. We don't want to let the we don't want to let the philosophy stop us from living. From living. And okay. it is. It does. So right now. here's what happens inside the church. People get a ton of Bible knowledge. Like they know the Bible. And they don't live any of it. They don't know any of it. It's like, right. you need to get it from here just, into my you life. You just point at me. A little bit. So they know stuff, but it doesn't go anywhere. And so here's what happens. So when you sit around in, in the philosophy circle, the words circle, we don't get into action. And so it camps out here and it stays here. And I go, right. okay, that's great, but that's not getting what we're supposed to be doing. So we got to start getting these to here. So now when we go, when somebody says, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to come out of the word circle, the philosophy circle, and I'm going to go into the action circle. I'm going to go into office. Mm-hmm. So you know what has to happen with that circle over here? We got you, dude. Like that circle over here needs to go, we got you. Yep. Okay, I don't agree with everything you got going on, right. but you're trying to do something. Right. And yep. when when does the philosophy group shut up, Yeah. shut up, and just support the ones who are trying to do something? Right. When they go, you know Even what? if it's small. So yes. Like, so let, let, let's go back on something I said earlier. I said, okay. I think that the drug issue is bigger than the sex work issue. Right. right? I'm an affiliate chair. 
Yep. So you are indeed, aren't you? I am. Yeah. I am. So one of the members said, hey, I would like to start working and reaching out with sex, uh, reaching out to sex workers. Mm -hmm. You know what I would say? Yes. Go ahead. Yep. However, I'm not going to make that the main focus. Right. Because, well, I might, if sex work, sex work was a big issue here in Jacksonville, mm -hmm. I might make it a, a bigger focus at, right. at, at, at an affiliate level. It is not, as far as I know. Right. So therefore, it's not. I think there are some other issues that that are that are much more pressing for us as a party here. But that doesn't mean. I I, I think that's that's where we need to become, is where we say we understand the major things that need the major amount of attention. Yes. Yep. We also understand that some of these things that we've classified as minor are important, but in the grand scheme of liberty. Mm -hmm. They're not going to deliver as much as these. And they still come out right now, right? And, and so we'll, yes, we'll, we, we you know, we'll, we'll acknowledge sex work is work, absolutely all day, every day. Yep. Going to say that. Um, you can use your body however you so, consent choose. I always want to consent. I, I always, I always make sure we throw the word consenting yeah, yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. For, I, I don't want somebody to snatch up a girl saying you're right. going to do this. Yeah, it's, it's totally implied for libertarians. We, we okay. might need to work on ensuring that the people others outside of us know that understand that we yep. mean consent, right? And so, yeah, I think it's okay to dedicate some of those resources. But I think a lot of people, they'll say, well, if you're not willing to dedicate more resources to this, my pet project, if you will, right? then, you know, I have a problem with you. Or if you're busy focusing on this thing, which I disagree with you anyway, then you're not a real... And I'm like, we need to get past, past all, all of that. Oh. And we need to say, it's kind of the whole... I'm going to drop some, uh, some scripture again. Give it a try. It's kind of the whole... Um, Hey Jesus, these people over here are performing miracles, but they're not part of our group. Hey, if they're not against us, they're for us, mm -hmm. right? And we kind of need to have that same attitude where we say, "Look, we might disagree, but you're not really against me, and you're actually you're putting all your time and energy in our party, Thanks. and you're relatively close. Good Let's enough. Get, you, okay. Like, like, like we we can squabble and say, ah, "Do I really want you as a leader?" And that's you know that's that, that's yeah, fine. That, yeah. But as a whole, here, he, okay. Here's the thing: what you're saying, and here, that's not bringing the the. That's not just bringing swarms of people in because they might, might almost kind of sort of no, no, no. become a libertarian. That's just talking about the people that are already here, here. And dedicated Let's get to the ours time. that we already say no. I'm with you. We're right. in the same place here now. I want to help this get bigger. Right. Okay. So here's okay an example of what you're saying about for specific for us here in town. Over this past year, um, the local party has done a number of protests. Mm -hmm. I've gone to zero of those. Mm -hmm. I don't. To right. me, I look at that. I don't ever go, dude, why are y'all going? I'm, right. Y'all go. Yeah. To me, that's not the best use of my time. Right. Um, I don't care to, and I'm going to sound harsh about this, but it's the way I am. Um, I don't care to stand around with 10 of the people I talk to anyway and just stand there and hold a sign and talk. Right. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't see right. the point of that. I'm not against. There's not been a single time when I've ever right. gone, you idiots. Right. Why are y'all just out there doing it? No, go do it. And if right. it works for you, that's what you did. Right. Have at it. I yep. don't I don't look at you guys. Like, I look at it and go, that's a stupid waste of time. Right. But I don't go, you guys aren't libertarian enough because right. you're willing to know once you put right. your effort over here and this. Right. So when do we, okay, so here's our problem. We've said the problem. Right. Okay, remember we talked about this before. We right. have we're going to gonna, we're gonna come, we're gonna deliver answers. Yes, we got to come to a point when we start going, what are the solutions? Okay, because right. for 48 minutes, we've laid out the problem. Right. Let's make it very clear. So we got 12 to lay out. Our... Yes, to lay out the answer. So here, here's what I'm getting at, is we've discussed that the problem is that the party does not come together. Mm -hmm. we, we don't. Like it or not, we don't come together. Uh, 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 an example of it is when I just when we did our Christmas thing, or uh, not. I called it. It's not Christmas. It's the anniversary, the right. party anniversary. I'm like, hey, did we reach out to Clay County? Right. Why? Why would next county over? Why would we? Why do we? Oh, it's Clay County. I don't know. I don't do nothing. Else. Why? We are libertarians. Right. And we have to get past this. Well, there's a little border right over there. We draw the we draw the line right there, and that's that's it. So you are open borders. Yeah, between Clay County and Duval. Um, so inside of that, I knew at some point you were going to say that. Um, so, but inside of that, here's what I want to do. Like, how do we start coming together? Now, do we start coming together in that we do have these individual, like for us here, and maybe it's different in other parts, but we have basically counties right. that we break up liberty, which is fine. Okay, so we know where we go and hang out and stuff like that. But why do we? Not work with Clay County, right? Um, I, 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 I can't answer that necessarily. On the uh, there's not a, an answer to give. There's that. nothing that stops us, right? right, there's, nothing, right. there's nothing in the rules that you can't reach out to them. I mean, the the biggest challenge that we have is distance, because in order for for those members to come out here, they, I mean, some of them have to drive like a half an hour or more, which is you know, and it, it, it's a bit of a challenge for them. Some of them are getting off work, and then they got families. Yeah, and so, sorry that you got excuses. Oh, yeah, that's okay, not a reason. Fair. That's an excuse. But, but, You've already determined they're not going to do it, but they might. But they might solutions, not care. solutions for the whole party. The 
So solutions for the whole party, right? Okay. Let's, let's drive at that point. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. As we lay out solutions, are we starting like, let, let's do it this way, if you don't mind. Let's start local. Mm -hmm. Locally, here's what we can do. Right. State, here's what we can well, do. Let me tell you what we have done. Okay. Oh, okay. We're, 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 I'm going to tell you what we have okay. done, which I think that the party needs to do more of. Okay. So in our affiliate, mm -hmm. we have members that are, you know, you know, we have the different factions in the Libertarian Party. And we're not going to get into that too much. We have members that align more with some than others. So we have we have representation of the different factions in our affiliate. Right. Okay. Okay. And um, I have, I, I do not insist that everybody fall in step. Right. So I'll give you a great example. We went and we did this. Uh, we were uh, an organization reached out to us, local uh, Jacksonville yoga for justice for inclusion and diversity or something like Some, that. yeah something like that. Hemming. so yeah they, yeah they they reached out and they said hey we're going to do this yoga event at the park we would like we're reaching out to all these different parties we'd like you to come out okay we'll talk about it i i reached out i reached back out to them i said let's have a conversation and i said look it's based on your name it seems like you're a little bit more on the liberal side it's cool i want to make sure that you know who we are right i don't want us to get out there and then everybody be blindsided thinking that we were something that we weren't mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're willing to come out. One of the members, won't name them, one of the members said, I'm not going. I have no interest in that. I, you know, you want you want, you want me to go to the gun show? You want me to talk about economic stuff? I'll, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, but, you know, but, but I'm, I was in agreement and, with that one. And, and, no, I didn't go. And here's what I told this person. I said, don't go. We have other members that are willing to go. Yep. That's it. That's it. Like, and and, and, and they were like, oh, okay. I, didn't, I, didn't, yeah, like, I okay, did good. not require him to attend and necessarily support with his time because it's his time. Yep. He can support. He can use his time however he wants, right? We still need very to, much a libertarian. We need to be still very libertarian. And we need to recognize that, hey, um, not everybody's on board. Maybe they're not on board because they're wrong. Maybe they're not on board because <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, like, 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 that, that was such a libertarian answer. <laughs> Maybe they're not on board because they're wrong. I'm determined they're wrong. That's why they're not doing no, this. No. Like, hold on. So <laughs> that was no. been, but that was the beginning of this conversation, not the so, end. So we need to look at it like maybe this person is not on board because they're wrong. Maybe it's not it's because they're uh they're not there yet. Maybe it's because they're have they have attention focused elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Because people, you know, people live their different lives. Right. And those different lives give them different experiences, which put them into onto a different trajectory. Yeah. And we need to be, uh, we need to allow for that and say this person is more into this idea that I don't think is nearly as important. And then that person needs to say, well, I think this idea is really important, but I do understand that I, I also believe that is I, their idea is important, just not as, as important as mine. And we need to accept that. That's long enough. To do the work. That's what we do. And that's exactly what town. that's exactly what our affiliate has done. Okay, we've accepted it long enough. And part of it is when a member says, "I don't want to go to this event. I don't. I don't want to go to a protest because I don't think it's worth my time. Right. I don't want to go to this event because you know it sounds too hokey liberal to me, and I'm not interested. I don't want to go to this because I'm tired of going to gun shows. I whatever. Okay, I'll Fine. find something for, else for you yep. to do. Because guess what? At this particular point, there is so much liberty that we got to fight for. Trust me, th there is a place for you. There is a place for you. We are not but, short of liberty to fight for. But you know why? For. Because there's there's this belief that we have that, okay, it doesn't have to be a right. protest or a pothole filling or a park cleanup. or It doesn't right. have to be one of those things because they can hold these other things that hold us together. Yes. Okay? So these, like we, we sit in this palm of this hand mm -hmm. and the fingers kind of go do the other things. Right. We should all be able to be in this camp right here together. Right. And so we have to, I think we have to start coming to a point where we go, what are these things? Right. Because I think that's what's splintering us off that we don't have this, here are these five things. And somebody else sitting out here go, no, this is the important thing. Right. And we're like, no, 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 no it's good. Right. It's not the thing. And, and and this is why I say that people in the libertarian community are very much like what I experienced in the church community, mm -hmm. is that people would act as if they could no longer function if somebody else wasn't on 100% board with them. And I'm like, right. no. Like, okay, somebody doesn't believe that we should reach out to, you know, if we're in the church, somebody doesn't believe that we should reach out to all the crackheads. Okay, that's fine. They don't have to go with us. That's, we'll go. But and let them... We do when, that with when, different things. We, we, and when they're we ready to go reach out to a group of people, 
then we'll take They're them the with us. Go. And we're not going to make a fuss about it. We, I'm not we, gonna... do, we, we do that very similar to prison ministries. Right. Like as a whole, our church doesn't have much people, but we have right. some. So here, so now here's what we do. So there are some other churches and some other ministries that go into the prisons. Mm-hmm. They do that. So here's what we've done. We've now taken our people who go, hey, uh, mm-hmm. I'm still part of our church, but I'm going to go do that with them. Right. So so that we can, so I can go do the part that I mm-hmm. serve well, and I want to go out and do it still. Right. Still here. Now, couldn't this be an example then of how we branch out into other counties right. and other affiliates? Yes. In that here we are. Right. Guys, here's what we're doing. In fact, because, okay, even though we're smaller here for the people who actually show up to libertarian stuff, we're so right. smaller. Okay. But we're bigger than Clay County. Right. Okay. So don't you think that if they were holding a meeting out there in Clay County, okay, they do their affiliate meetings, you know, like we do our socials mm-hmm. or whatever. Why do we not go? Why we do, do sometimes. We, yeah, no, no, but why not Why do we, right, why do we not make it a point to go, hey, you know what, let us know when yours is. Some of our people are probably going to want to go because right. here's what I've learned, that, that there's strength and power in numbers. Yes. There's a better um, belief in something when there's numbers right. involved. Right. So even if four Clay County people show up, and we've done this, like right. four Clay County people show up and eight of us right. show up out there like, oh, man. Like, this is great. Right. Just to see it's that there are 12. other people. Yes. That, that there are other people who right. are involved in what we're doing here. Right. Okay. So now when, what happens when the new person comes in from Clay County to that social and they see these people here and they go, oh, whoa. Right. There's something going on here. Right. It's okay. 12 people. 12, yes. 12 looks better than four. Yes, it does. So and, that and might make them more group, willing to. If you're a bigger yep. group, then it's beneficial to assist the smaller growing groups. Right. Okay. Now let me ask you a question then. You leave the affiliate. What are you doing that helps us help Clay County? I'm having a podcast on the side where I can bring a pastor in who will lead me into these decisions. Oh and then goodness. I will sit back and I will think about good. them and say, you know what? That is a good thing. I'm going to go and lead and take all the credit. Fine. I, it's not about credit. It's about getting it done. No, I'm just, Let's, right. no, no. no. It's about getting the job right. done. Now, but, here's the thing. But, I know but, that but your focus is us. Like, right. I understand that. Right. And to reach out to another county is secondary. And I jokingly said that, but it's actually true. This is the kind of thing we need to hear what somebody else says. Yep. And sometimes it might be uncomfortable. It isn't, well, it wasn't here, but sometimes it is. Mm-hmm. So, and I've had people sit down with me as an affiliate chair and be like, I don't like this. And I'm like, mm, yeah, you're making a good point yep. and we're going to resolve that. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and we need to bury our pride a little bit and we need to hear what other, because sometimes critics have something they meaningful have some to say. Sometimes they have right? some truth. And yep. critics need to be mindful and say, look, I can't criticize all the time because at some point, I just become the nag and nobody wants to listen and to that, me. At that point, you don't hear it anymore. You're like, yeah, right. whatever. This is just the one who complains. Right. All right. So so what yeah. do we have then? So we have we have our local. Right. And in our local, we're able to say, hey, we can do these other things, but here's right. our main point. Okay. So how do we branch this out? How do we how do we go, okay, now if we have our local, we can do whatever we need to do. How's it what's the what's it look like on the state level? And maybe I ask this because I'm naive to it. Maybe there's something I don't understand, and you go, hey, stupid. So here's how this can I, work I think, at the state level. I think the way to do this, to expand it, is to do it. Don't go so so it's not it's I don't think it would be a good idea for me necessarily right now to go to our state chair and say, hey, look, I think we should implement this thing. Why not? What, I, what I think we I would be better is to just start working with Clay County, and then once show that it's working, and then start working with um, St. John County, okay, and then start working with the other. I, I think there's like five counties. You got Nassau there. and stuff like right. that. Yeah, yep. So there's multiple counties, and start working with them, and then one day when Clay County was four, and now they are twelve. Yep. And then when um, St. John County was zero, and now they're five, right, or six, or whatever. And then there's regular interaction between them. Mm-hmm. Then once we've delivered upon it, then we can say that, that actually at that point, I because think you just promote it and say, you tell everybody what you've done, what's accomplished. You just let people but also, know. Oh, hold on. Now, and they can say, wow, this is a good idea. I should good. do that. Take the same thinking. Okay, so now we've included the four local counties. Right. They were kind of talking a little bit. And then imagine if we said, hey, you know what? In July, we're going to get together and we're going to pick me, whatever it is. You know, right. we're going to have an event. And we're all, all four of us are coming together. Now, if, here's the thing, Duval's the bigger one. Right. So it might be, hey guys, we're probably going to come to Duval, depending right. on what we want to do. There might be better right. places, locations for us, but we kind of go, we're the big one still. Right. We're still the big one. So we're going to do an event, but we, we don't just go, well, why don't you all come join us? No, we actively reach out to him and say, hey, here's what we're doing. We want to bring all four of us together, right. which means you talk to three other chairs and you go, 
here's what we're trying to do. We're going to set a date so we all get together. Right. Because now we can look at it and go, you know what? It's not 12 and 4 and 8. Now you're like, look look at this. Look what's happening here. Right. And then when people come by and see four counties. Now, when they first go by, they don't know it's four counties. They just go, Libertarians, what the heck's going on over there? Right. They're cooking out. They're having fun. And they're right. talking about things and whatever they're doing. Now that draws attention. Right. Okay. Then you start going, wait a minute. Because here's the thing is, if we're going to make this bigger than us, we've got to start thinking bigger than us. Right. And so I don't know why, I, like I get what you're saying of let's do it. And we go, hey, here's the example of us doing it. I believe that we have leaders in place. But I guess my question would be to call out some of our own leaders. Right. And go, why is this? And like, maybe well, they- the, the, the thing is, you, you, you have to be mindful that leaders get lots of ideas from people that haven't implemented them that they swear will work. Oh, no, I get that. Yeah. Right. And, and I'm sure you've you, you've you've had that. Oh, yeah. Your leader as well. Uh, um, and, and so I, we want to be mindful not to fall into that trap and to rather say this actually did work. This did, yeah, I get, no, I get the idea right. of doing this, you know, but at the same time, why are look, I guess my question is, why are we not already thinking? We're 50 years in. Oh, well, why are I we mean, not already thinking so, of these so things? I, I think I think we made that point. OK. Now, the, now we're 26 seconds over one hour. So now we need to make sure that we're delivering like, here's what we need to do. Here's the action item. Right. Okay. So step one, who, who do you get involved? Who, who do you, who do we reach out to and go, Hey, wait a minute, this person being on our side. Right. Was so, helping. so, so we do, we do, uh, I think there are two main things that happen. One, reach out to the, the local chairs, right? Okay. Who does that? Um, chair. You. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Me. Okay. I right, just, let's, let's get that. Let's get it all out there. Uh, Y'all right, heard right. that he's the one right. responsible for taking so, care of it. Okay. So, but so that's part of it, right? Mm-hmm. The other part that members have play a role is to find, seek out more opportunities to support those around you than the than, than differences. Focus on yep. where you could, you'll still have the differences. Yeah. There'll be time to debate that stuff, yep. but seek out more opportunities to support them. And and I've been giving people on, on Twitter a hard time. I'm like, what are you doing in your, you're doing a lot of complaining here. What are you doing in your state? What's working? Because you know what? You know, here's what irritates me as an affiliate chair. I don't see people posting and saying, here's what we did. Not to congratulate them and get a bunch of kudos, but because I can't think of every idea. And it would be Dude, nice that's to be a, always my thing. It'd like, be yeah, like, that's a good idea. Dang. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be like, dang, that's a good idea. We should do that. Yo, yep. check this out, everybody. Uh, right? Like, like that's what that's helped. Cause and it's a very libertarian thing. Because libertarians believe that not any one person can have all the skill. Not any one person right. can have all the ideas. Not any one affiliate can have all the ideas. So I depend on other affiliates to come up with ideas so I can say, let's try that because I, I didn't even think about that. Yep. One. I often right. tell people that if they go to if they go out of town on vacation, right. they go to another church. See what the church does. Yeah. That might be things we go, hey, we can do that yep. here. Same yep. premise. Okay. And, and and in order to do that, we need to look for opportunities to 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 work with each other. It, it, at every opportunity. So that means if somebody says, I don't want to go to that event, don't give them a hard time about right. it. Right. Don't make, like, okay, that's cool. You don't want to go to that event. That's fine. Um, and, 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 but, but I think that we have to stress the times where we do really want people to be at this. Right. I think, I think maybe we don't do that very well. I think we've, right. I think unfortunately we've kind of laid them all out where they're all kind of equal. This right. event is equal to this event. I think we have to come to a right. point where we go, no, like, let me be, okay, so a park cleanup, not everybody's going to be down with, I right. get that. Uh, but when we just did the 50th anniversary, there should be we we should have pushed that. This isn't like all the other things. This is different. We expect right. all of us to be together. Right. This is, and I think that, that we have to come to this point with our events and stuff that we kind of go, okay, they're not. These are not all equal. Right. And and part of that is the leadership's responsibility, okay. right? Because the leadership needs. Are you to mean just Im- the volunteers? Just well, the no, volunteers? no. The leadership <laughs> needs to impart to people that this event is more important. Mm-hmm. This this thing is more important than this thing, but this thing is still, still important. important. Yeah. And and I think right now the way it comes across is. Either it is important or it's not. That's because and we need to stop that thinking. We need to get away from that binary thinking. And we need to say, no, it is important. But here are the reasons why this thing needs to take a little bit more priority. And libertarians, for all the economics talk that they love to talk about, they should understand that you only have a certain amount of live time and that you're only going to devote certain, you know, that you're going to devote time to this thing at the expense of this other thing, right, to some degree. Mm-hmm. So if I have 100% of my time, which I do, effectively right i'm going to be able to devote maybe 70 percent to this item and maybe 30 percent to yep. this item 30 percent is still 30 percent is still more than zero yes and we need to start recognizing that yeah so in some cases we're going to have to just accept that some things and and we even can accept that this affiliate over here thinks a little differently and they are like well we believe that 
you guys say 70-30 for issue A and B, but we believe it's 30-70. But in their area, okay. that might be true. That might hold Fine. true in their area. Right. But that's okay. Once again, same with states. Core beliefs. Right. I, here, here's my complaint. My complaint, I think you're exactly right in what you're saying, that I think that we can have these park cleanup uh, versus protests, for example, right. 70-30. Now you might go down, Nick. You might go down to Broward, and they go, "Hey, you know, you know, we're all about protests." Okay, right. Good. That's good for you guys. Right. But what I'm looking to accomplish, and in my mind, I guess what I'm thinking is, okay, five core, five. Because you mentioned five earlier. Somebody right. mentioned who was he said laid out five. Uh, was it Dave Smith. Yeah, Dave Smith. I don't know if it was quite five, but, but yeah, he, so he laid premise. out certain a certain number of and things like, and said, "Here's where we are. Can we bury the hatchet on all these things where we disagree and at least agree on these items?" Whatever and, happened with that, I asked up because I don't know. Um. Some people, uh, we'll, we'll look it up and I'll, I'll show you the, 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 the tweet that he made so you can see about the five, I think there were five issues, but you right. can see the issues that he listed and see if you agree with him or if he's not a real libertarian. And then, um, and, and, and he's talking about doing a, a unity push again in the future, okay. right? And the idea is to say, let's unify around these issues, right? <clears throat> and... We'll still have our differences. The, yep. the, oh, yeah. That's, trust me, differences aren't going to go away. But we're not going to spend all of our time yep. on them because we're spending way too much time Look on Look at your 70-30 rule. We're going right. to spend 30, 70% of our time focusing on what brings us together. Right. We can have 30% of our time right. focusing on the and, arguments. And, and so fine. going back to what we were talking about originally, this is why I think it's worthless to say you're not a libertarian, you are a libertarian. Mm -hmm. I think all that – and, I, and I've, I've had this issue – like long ago when somebody would say, well, you're a real man. You're not a real man. I'm like, I no, I am a real man. Like literally if I strip off all my you're clothes, it's, you're going to see everything is here uh -huh. that you would expect from a real man. Like period. You check my DNA. You're going to see the chromosomes. Like it's it, like it's all there legit. So that doesn't even make any sense. Right. And so, but we spend so much time on that. Yep. And then we don't actually spend time maybe doing things that actually matter. Okay. You know? I could tell my son he's not a real man all day long, right? When he gets to 18, I could say, you're not a real man. Not real man. I would say, you're not a real or, man if you get out of the house and paying your own bills, but... Or I can just, you know, show him what it means to be a real man, mm -hmm. you know, and then talk to him and then at each individual item say, well, let's talk about that. And, and rather than, and get away from the whole real man, not a real right, man, right, not right, a little... Okay. Just talk about a particular issue when it comes up. When it comes up. Right. Don't seek it, it out. This doesn't have to be what... And, and, and here's what tends to happen, is they, they have this topic. Right. I'm going to assert this everywhere I can to show people how smart I am. Right. Look how smart I am yeah. on this topic. Yeah, but can you do me a favor? Can you tell me how you fit around these other things yeah. also? Yeah. Okay, so we know that... So Dave Smith, like I said, Dave Smith is basically new. I'm pro okay, maybe I'm not a real libertarian in that he wasn't big in my world. You sent something to me last week, two weeks ago. Yeah, he was on You're a like, podcast. Hey, listen to this. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that's actually pretty solid except for the right. language, which I mentioned to you, but that's cool. Right. You know, but the premise was there. Dave, you got to clean up that language. Yeah, dude, like for real. Like I'm sure he's watching this. And so right now, right now. Nobody's watching it right now. You're right. That's a good point. All right. So, but we'll be. And uh, when you say that, it will be true. I mean, he's watching it right now. Yeah. When you post is. it. No, when you post it, he's watching right. it right the now. The CIA anyway. is probably watching it. Right. And most, oh man, to be on there. Never mind. All right, so. What's up, bros? To, to, be at, to be at that level where they're tracking us. All right, so I, I like that idea. And I remember, I'm just going off of what you're telling me. This is kind of what he did, and I'm trusting you in this. Right. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I, I, I like the idea. I think part of my complaint is lack of unity. Right. And so I think the fact that maybe he's even calling it that you say he's kind of calling it. No, that. there's a, it's called unity. Okay. And, and I think that there's, I think there's a reason for that. I think that we need to come together. I think that's a good thing mm -hmm. because I think for us to be effective, we're going to need that. We're going to right. have to have something that draw people who come together under a common goal, come together. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we have to learn what those common goals are going to be that we go, okay, got this. Like right. I said, it's the idea that if I come from Jacksonville and I go down to Miami and I, Join up with the Libertarian Party. Down, I move right, and I join up with the Libertarian Party down there. I had better, right? I had better be able to walk into one of their meetings, one of their socials, or whatever business, whatever they do, right? And I should be able to walk in and go. I know that we agree on these five things, right? I don't think that holds true right now, right? So, no, we 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 definitely spend way too much time. We we spend too much time on on where we disagree. And then sometimes what we do is, like I said earlier, we don't look at the nuance and see like, oh, this person actually does kind of believe in this idea, but right now they have this thing that kind of keeps them from taking it full okay. on. So, and I think that's important to know. We don't know that when we say, oh, oh just, you're, you're closed borders. Well, then you're not a real libertarian. Okay, but what if, what if 
deep inside they want to be open borders but they're having trouble getting there because of this other issue here i am right uh-huh. like that should mean something and, and and this is why i keep telling people i'm like you need to talk to people that you disagree with and say like let's let's talk more about this but you have to do it Without any expectation that they're gonna one hundred percent agree. Gonna, okay. Right. Like, right so, and that's where we make our big mistakes. So 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 here's my thinking: is this okay? So we know that libertarians are out there. We know they they'd rather infight than be productive. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna call it that. I mean, yeah. infight instead of productive. Right. And so so what if? Because here's what I've often said about a gossip. Right. Okay. A uh, gossip wants to talk, but you know what? They can't be a gossip if nobody's there to listen. Right. So maybe it's time for libertarians to start saying. This is the argument you want to have right now? Well, guess right. what? We're not going to. Right. We're not going to. You know what? Post your tweet up there. Oh, let's get to that in just a second. Okay. So post your tweet up there. Right. Um, boo your Facebook post. That's cool. But you know what? We're not We're not going to take part in this right now. Right. We are focusing on these other things. Right. And so once we start saying, right now, guys, because here's what tends to happen. Watch the two big parties and watch when it's time for presidential runs. They come together. Right. And they say, here's where we are. And, and guess what we're, we're fixing to come up into? A presidential run. Right. It's time for our party to go, nope, nope, we're camping out right here. Right. This is where we're camping out. This it's is the our message. It's sibling rival, rivalry, right? Like, there's a time and a place to beat up your brother. And then there's a time and a place to say, nobody beats up my brother but me. Yep. Right? Even though I want to beat him up right now. Uh, right now, I got to defend him against you. I, that, listen, right? I was like, the youngest of four boys. I, I, I Many times, except for my one brother. But other than that, I was the victim. Right, and and they would they would find me to mess with right. me whenever they wanted. But if the kid down the street, yeah, oh no, like I I right. always always knew that my brothers had my back. Right, if somebody from outside was trying right. to get me, well, yep. guess libertarians could do that same thing. We, we need to. So here's here's the here's oh, okay. The so we're, Paul, we're how we're new is this? This is actually from April of 2021 of this year. Yes. Okay. So he put this out in April. Okay. Um, and he said. Is there any libertarian who doesn't agree with the following? Okay. No COVID passports and the lockdowns and the wars and the drug war and all corporate welfare audit slash and the Fed. If we all agree, let's unite around these issues and focus on pushing them. Forget the distractions. Right. And I was like, you know, that's a that's a reasonable list, I think. You know, it's like what six okay. items there. Now, no, here's our. And he's do. talking about nationally. Like I not, was just right, getting ready to say, right. let me let me bring this, this down. This is a to national local. level. But hold on, we do have to be national. Right, right. Because well, guess here's what here's what's gonna happen. More often than not, you suggest to somebody, "Hey, I'm part of the Libertarian Party." They're not gonna go just right. Oh, what's Jacksonville think about the Libertarian Party? No, they're right. gonna go, "What does the party right, believe?" Right, right. Okay, but here's what I'm looking at: no COVID passports. That's local, and the lockdowns. That's local. Uh, drug war can be local. Well, technically, all of them can be local because uh, local, lo- like like sheriffs have, you know, they can just determine that they're not going to enforce a federal law. Like, oh, okay. So See, technically, like, all of them like, can I'm be think, local. I'm thinking if I'm running for city council, like, what can I go on city council? Go, okay, we, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I can't get involved in ending the wars. Right. And okay? there's and there's not a there's not a lot that you as a city council member can do for COVID passports. No, no, but we can. Right. But we can make a stand. Right. Uh, like say, hey, this is where we are. That we are not going to allow this in Jacksonville. Right. Well, okay. Well, we did do a protest that you said that you didn't want yeah, to go to. Yeah. Uh, no, but you got to understand, there's a difference between 12 guys standing on the corner holding up a sign down in front of the courthouse or wherever we it is. We had other versus, genders. Uh, oh, okay. 12 people. But there's a difference between 12 people standing, 12 people standing out there with signs right. and a city councilman. Sure. No, I there's, like there's a difference there. Okay, so I'm looking at this. Can't do the. I can do a level of the drug war. Like, hey, we, we Jacksonville, we're looking to get rid of these decriminalized. If we have to start with that point, the cops right. are not going to bust you for some weed. Right. Okay. Um, corporate welfare. Good lord, one of our biggest problems right here in town right now right. is the idea yes. of city council giving out money yes. to corporations. Yep. yep. Um, and then at, on at the Fed, we're limited, but. Some of these right here hit us nationally, and we can run on locally. Right. I can run of what three or four of those, right? And be like, and this, then, is, "This is the party." And, and and then what people can do is they can say, "All right." And then so, I got my own personal things. Like I can those, have these and still go, "Hey, I'm personal right. property." And, right. and, and other people and, and other uh, other places might have different issues that affect them different different levels, right? So they, you know, somebody else might say, "Hey, you know, the drug wars." L.A. might say the drug war is a big deal here. Right. Okay. Com- compared to, I don't know, maybe somewhere in New Hampshire. I don't know, whatever. Right. So and and then you might have New York where they say, hey, COVID passports are a big thing because we're literally but that's we're fine. literally kicking out children who don't have passports. Right. Like like right now there there there's videos. But they of, still hold right inside of the court. They all, they all hold inside of them. And there's varying levels and there's varying um, opportunities to. Uh, to focus on other things that that are necessary at that mm-hmm. particular level in that location. Okay. 
right? So, so yeah, I think this is a great list. Okay, so how do we, Is the, could this somewhat be universal? Is this the type, because you know more of state and national that clearly than I do. So is this something that we should be going, hey, we should be getting behind this? I think so. Um, and, and here's two reasons. Okay. One, I think that these, in fact, impact the most amount of people. Right. right. So they they basically give us the bang, the biggest bang for our buck. Mm-hmm. And then two, I think just based on my conversations with libertarians, they these, we can all get behind these. These the COVID passports is a little bit tricky. Yeah, uh, but those aren't real libertarians. Don't worry. Right, right. <laughs> but I think I think everything else is pretty universally accepted by libertarians. Right. The COVID passports, we have some debates on that. You know, you got Cato Institute, whatever. Blah, yeah, blah, we blah, blah. yeah. Right. So, um, you know, and so I, that, you know, so, yeah, I think that we I think those are things that we could. And they're the they're the, they're the, they're the have the biggest impact and they're the least debated for the most part. Right. That's what I'm saying. These are things that we could go. Right. Yes. Like yes. the libertarians would go. Yep. Yeah. So now. So do me a favor if you can. All right. This is all free stuff here. Um, I need you to pull it off Twitter somehow and send it to me on Facebook. OK. Like tag. Like if you can copy it. Tag it, tag me I mean, specifically. You want me just to do the text, or do you want me to do Dave Smith's name too? Hey, no. He doesn't care, but you know. Put it in there. I, I don't mean, mind. I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay. Listen, here's the thing: is well, so I ha- listen. I have to. Certain you, personalities bring other personalities, and I don't know if you want that drama or not. Well, no. Here's here's the thing. Okay, l- let me be honest with you. I don't know. Like I say it right now, I don't know a whole lot about Dave Smith. I'll put okay. that in there. I'll mention like I don't know much about. Him, kind of coming around now. Listen, it's no secret. I, I don't hide behind it. I like Spike Cohen. Right. Like, I, like, I like Spike Cohen. Right, right, right. I like what he believes. I like his arguments. I'm He's like, all right. I'm a good spy. Okay. So inside this, I'm not saying that, hey, I'm pushing all this I'm aside. I'm just hitting Spike. <laughs> I'm not pushing, like, I'm not pushing all of that aside. I'm not saying, like, well, I forget about this guy. I'm down right. with this guy. I, I, I'm, that's right. not, but what I'm saying, though, anything that can help bring us together, something like this should be something that all of our names right. inside the party. Right. Uh, listen, we, we, we've got to stop acting like the other parties. Well, it's not right. my idea, so it's a bad idea. Right. Scrap we do that. that. And we do that. You and kidding. we do that with Dave Smith. And, and Some people will, they will criticize him over this, even though... Even, Even though they though agree with if it, their guys said it. They'd be like, "Yeah, that's, that's probably, right. That's probably a good idea." Exactly. Actually. That's like that's, that's really big, that's big two party stuff. I've right told there. people, I've said this before, dude. You need to, you need to go through my tweets. You like, gotta find some golden nuggets. You know what Here's you what need I to said. do? Like, oh, it's gonna be just all messed put, up there. Put my name over it. Just you know what you need to do is not like pull the name. It's so right. funny you pull the name out because people go, that's a good idea. Because I have said the, the people complain about the cult of personality, mm-hmm. and I'm like, the cult of anti personality is just as pervasive and just as problematic. Yep. Right. So people are like, that's not my guy. And I'm like, OK, but was the idea good? Like, right. You know, and it's the same concept, even at a smaller level. Well, they're not a libertarian. But was the idea worth talking about? Like, 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 like right? I'm going to be honest with you. I, there are times inside the other parties. Like, it's not a bad idea. Right. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not sitting around here going, oh, libertarians, only we have all the right ideas. Right. That's horrible thinking. Yeah. Like, you've got to be willing. Now, listen, right. they might, some of the so, other two parties might have an idea that we go. That's a good start. Right. Here's how we can build off of that and really get into freedom. Those right. type of things. So, so let's let's talk. Let's 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 wrap this up here because we're an hour and fifteen. Hour and seventeen. I don't care. Look about that. Let, right. Listen to it. All right. So all right. <laughs> so um, what we're gonna what we are going to aim to do now? I, I I'm an I'm an affiliate chair, so there's only so much I can do. I'm not really working at the state and the and national level. And and I'm just only a volunteer, so you're just gonna get whatever time right. that whatever, I have to throw at the party if I even wake up in time to do anything. Right. Like whatever. If I'm, everything I'm, else finds, I'm slurping on the couch, and maybe I'll get up off of it and do something. Okay. So, uh, start working with other affiliates. Okay. Saying let's let's get together and let's make bigger numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm already in my in our affiliate saying, hey, you don't want to go to this event? That's cool. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make a big fuss of it, and I'm not going to I'm not going to try to use that to determine whether or not you're a real libertarian. I'm going to use you when it comes time. Use you know like. Yeah. Yep. Some, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you where you need to be that you're comfortable with, and by the way, I just want to point this out to people because people criticize me over there. Like, Argh. I had that same individual that didn't want to go to the the Jacksonville yoga event. Mm-hmm. They came up to me and they said, "You know, you've challenged me in, to think about some things, and there's some things that I didn't particularly agree with, but I understand better why you do them." Right. So this is the value. Of not making a big fuss about it, right? And just be like, okay, it's cool. I'm, I'm gonna use you where you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you where you best fit in, mm-hmm. and then eventually, hopefully, you'll grow and understand where this is of some value. Even if you never get there fully, that's okay too, right? So we're going to try to maximize the the value of every single person where they best fit, right? 
we're going to limit how much focus we put on our differences. Okay. Right? And we're going to seek out ways to support each other, even if we don't always agree with it. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, what am I missing? I, I think we're good. Like I okay. Said. That's the action items. Okay. That's how we come together as a party. Now, do you think at some point that we got to have what those core issues are? Do yeah, I think so. off of what Dave Smith just yes. read off of it? And yeah, and here, here, I, I think that's a good I'm start. I'm fine Because you know what? Nobody has presented an alternative. Nobody's, nobody's given a better idea. Like, like if enough people come behind and go, hey, I, what about if we just pulled this down to six, but we right. put this as number three? Right. I'm, I'm open let's to negotiation. Talk. Yep. Like, but let's we have a starting point. It's nice. Right. First, go. And, and the, negotiation, guys, think? the negotiation needs to be issues. Yep. Not I don't care about your feelings. I don't care about. I don't give a damn whether you like Dave Smith or not. Yeah. Either the ideas are good and mm-hmm. we can come around them, uh, come around to, uh, to, uh, to those ideas, yep. or we need to modify them slightly and say, let's pull this one off the list. Because you know what? That list, let's pull that list up real quick. And I know people are, uh, that are watching can't see it, but COVID passports, lockdowns, those were two items that wouldn't have been on the list two, two years, years ago. ago. Right? right. So once we it, get past those, we might actually be able to say, okay, now that we've, uh, now that we've, that we've dealt been with, effective in those, right. hey guys, we made enough stink on right. this. So if we if we're effective on the no COVID passports, the end the lockdowns, then those two drop off the list. Now we can get to the next two, yep. and then we take care of those. Now we get to the next one, the next one, and the next one, and eventually we get. Next thing you know, work. next thing you know, we are now getting to those right. other secondary and, and right. third things down next, the line. And eventually we get to sex work, and we say this is the important yep. thing because we've dealt but, with but all, all the, the other, other ones. ones. Yep. So this is a starting point. We're saying. Which I'm, I'm good with this. I'm, yeah. I'm good with saying now. Now here's the thing. Once again, I agree with you in that, uh, like Dave Smith specifically. Right. Okay. I don't know much about him. I've watched one podcast about him. I looked at some of his other things. I don't like his language, but I'm hoping he can control that a little bit. Like I'm just gonna be honest. Right. right. Okay. Uh, I think that's why I do like Spike. You don't have to worry about him going off on these tangents and doing the. I, I, I like that. I think right. there's a level of at that level there has to be a level of professionalism that says, hey, I got to be able to be taken seriously. Sure, sure. And and let me be honest with you with the stuff that Dave Smith and the way he goes and talks. Um, many Christians done, right? Like I don't care. They're not gonna. They're not gonna right. get past the, that. So right. I think that my mom matters. was one of them. Oh, exactly. So I, I'm kind of. I'm like, dude, if you can't get up there and act right and, and control yourself, yeah. now I'm not saying. And, and, now and I know I, you're not going home and not cussing. Right. That's your business. And, and, but and I and I and, I, and you know, if Dave does happen to watch this. I know that he um, he knows this, and I think that when the time is appropriate. I, I but, do but believe that he'll recognize. Here's it. what's going to happen: is that you, I oh, think yeah, you have always. to. I think you have to lead up to that. I don't think sure, you could just sure. all of a sudden one day go. Okay, from now on, I'm not going to do this because people are still going to go find right. stuff. They're going to go. Right. And you minute. know, and, like and, they said, they're trying to beat him up over but, things. But from honestly, years ago. that's for him to work out. That's it's his problem. That's, that, that, that's but, not yeah, for me to work out but, for him. But what I'm saying though is, what I'm getting at is overlooked. Like I don't agree right. with the way he's talking, but you know what? I can get behind these ideas. Right. Right. And that's the point. The point is, I don't know anything about this guy. I might go. He's a. I might look. I'm go, dude. You're just a jerk. I want to be around you. Those are pretty good points, though. Right. And I think that that's where we that's have what to, we need be. to be. Yeah. That maybe we can start doing that. We get past the name affiliated with it. Right. And just go. That's not a bad idea. Right. Let's it's see how it's we really get getting this. past the emotion of the person. And, and I and I like the fact that he's willing to make that stand. Say, hey guys, yeah. what about this? Right. Like, see, to me, that's bringing something together. Right. And you said this is what he's referring to as the unity. Yeah. Yeah, okay. there's, I, I don't, I don't know. So, yeah, so I think that that's a good idea. So maybe what we do, you have things that you can work on. I, I'm going to start looking behind this more and start saying, okay, how do we get together? Because right. I, I truly think one of our biggest problems as a party is the coming together. Right. It's a how do we do? So you're talking about real things that you can jump in and go, here's what I'm going to do right. to start bringing us together. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I think that as a party, yep. we have to have a top down type thing that says, right. here's where we stand, filter down through the right. lines. So that down here in Duval, we're talking about the same thing that they're talking right. about on the national level. Focus needs to be on edifying each other. And, and and so that we can get to that world set free. So our purpose has to be that we are a 50-year-old man sleeping on somebody's couch right. who can't hold down a job. Wouldn't it be nice if by our 52nd birthday, we were off the couch All right, so that and is, renting a house somewhere? That is, that is Tubbs' pronouncement. That by 52, by our 52nd birthday, we have a good job. We have a job. No, a we're, job. We're, a we're, permanent job. Permanent job. We have well, a permanent no... job, and we're off the couch, and we're renting an apart. We're renting an apartment. Right. Getting focused. All right. Awesome. So there you have it, folks. We hope that you enjoyed this. This was uh, the conversation that happened. It started in my kitchen, and I said, "Hold on, we got to get this on film. This is some good stuff." I think. I and think I think we still didn't cover all of it. That we no, had we did. Well, I mean, there was there was a, there was a bunch of stuff that you yeah. missed, unfortunately. Um, I so guess maybe we should just wherever we go, she just have people, a camera running next to us, yeah, just probably. in case. People will have to start coming over um, and just hanging out with us. Before, and just, you know, and like, the conversation. You know, yep. like, 
Um, I'll get a Patreon started so that you can pay for that and then come over to the house. Not you a bad know? idea. That? <laughs> because <laughs> we, we tend to talk every week before yes, we come up every here. Every week. There's a little conversation that happens before, a little conversation that happens after. Yes. So, and, and it's just kind of like it's a little primer. Uh, but usually we, usually the conversation isn't such that I'm like, man, we need to get this on. That's true. Usually like we're this time I was more. like, dude, this is, well, you know. <laughs> and so hope you enjoyed it. Catch us next time. But for now, we're out. That's all for this episode. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button and connect with me at Liberty Dad on Facebook, Liberty Dad Pod on Twitter, or send me an email to libertydadpodcast at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. To catch Liberty Dad episodes when they air, head over to facebook.com forward slash free speech media, where the weekly episode airs Monday night at 8 p.m. And while you're there, be sure to check out the other free speech media shows. Prefer an audio format? Then head on over to LibertyDad.com or just search for Liberty Dad, all one word, on your favorite podcast app. Remember, if you're a champion of liberty, your business is people and your product is liberty. Have a great week. Catch you next time. And I'm out.